The tension voltage detector provides an easy and safe way to check if high voltage is present on both AC and DC static neutralizing and charging products. Without making contact with the equipment, the tip of the tension illuminates when voltage is detected, providing an immediate indication that the equipment is energized. This short video will show how the tension works by reacting to voltage and explain why it is not a valid tool to detect ionization. Let's start by explaining the equipment we'll be using. Here we have a charge plate monitor, static neutralizing bar, and voltage detector. The charge plate monitor or CPM is a tool used to measure the effectiveness of ionization. To do this, the CPM is charged and then brought down using ionization. To create ionization, we place a static bar over the top of the CPM and power on. The ionization created neutralizes the charge on the CPM. The tension is a device used to detect high voltage only. The ionization has no effect on how the voltage detector performs. And here's why. In this case, we show a static bar being used to neutralize a charged CPM, and we will note the response of the voltage detector. The CPM is charged up to 1000 volts, as you can see by the display. The static bar is placed over top of the CPM and powered on. Looking at the display on the CPM, you can see the ionization from the static bar bringing the charge down. Current flows from the bar to neutralize the plate and the field lines trigger the voltage detector to light up. This time, the static bar is placed in a bag at the same relative distance to the CPM plate and voltage detector. The plate is charged to 1000 volts again. Now watch as the bar is powered on. In this case, the bag prevents current flow of ionization from the bar to the plate, and the plate remains charged indefinitely. Notice, however, the voltage detector responds the same as before, showing that it is detecting field only and not ionization. As we've shown, the tension reacts to voltage only, not ionization. We prove this by putting it below a static bar while creating ionization. Then, we put it under the same bar but blocked ionization. In both instances, it reacts the same, proving that the ionization created by the static bar has no effect on the voltage detector.